Now, if you're a mountain hunter, you know a lot of mornings can be well below zero degrees. And, you know, by mid-afternoon, it can be in the mid-20s. And most of us understand the need to layer for thermal qualities. But what a lot of us don't understand is that the fabrics within those different layers need to have certain performance qualities. And when I head in the mountains, I typically take six or seven different layers for my upper body and three or four for my lower body. So let's start with the base layer, the one that's next to your skin. And here I've got a short sleeve t-shirt. It's the Base Dry Plus from Stony Creek. And this fabric has some really unique qualities. And the biggest one is it allows moisture to transfer through it and away from your body. And that's a really important thing once you start to sweat. The other thing is it doesn't hold that moisture and it dries very, very quickly, which we all know we've worn those cotton t-shirts in the past. And once they get a little bit of sweat on them, they are wet for the day and the thermal qualities go out the window with that. The other thing I like about this shirt is it doesn't absorb odor. So I can wear it four or five days in a row. My next layer is gonna be a thermal layer. And in this case, I've got a Thermal Dry Plus here from Stony Creek, and it's a long sleeve shirt. Now, between this and my base layer are the two that I'm gonna wear pretty much all day. You know, this will give me a little bit of thermal quality while I'm hiking uh, without getting too hot. Just like the base layer, it allows that moisture transfer. It dries super quickly. And again, this one won't smell. For my next layer, I don't want something too warm. Um, you know, again, if it's a little bit cooler, it's something I can still hike in. So I've got this um, Micro Plus fleece from Stony Creek. It's just a lightweight fleece. The great thing about fleece is that it's hydrophobic, meaning it won't hold moisture as well. So it allows that moisture to continue to transfer away from your body and it won't get wet from the sweat or hold that wetness. And even if you get a little bit of rain on it, it's not gonna get wet. My next layer, is my insulating layer. And in this case, I've got this Tech Light jacket. Now, this is a fairly lightweight insulating layer. Um, you know, later in the season, um, I'm gonna go to a much heavier insulating layer, but even if I'm hunting in August for sheep, I'm still gonna take um, this insulating layer along with me. I like to wear a soft shell above all that. And I've got my frost line jacket here. And the nice thing about the soft shells is they're still pretty quiet, unlike rainwear, which can be a little bit noisy. Um, it's weather resistant, so it'll actually repel a fair bit of rain. It allows that moisture to still transfer out through your body. It's breathable. But the great thing about these is they've actually got this grip fleece on the inside. And it's just like a bunch of little pillows. And what that allows is for air to circulate in here. So that allows that moisture transfer away from the body to happen. But if it's cold, it also helps trap that air inside these little pockets and further helps insulate you. So even though this is a really lightweight jacket, the thermal qualities are amazing. Now for the final layer, and I never ever head to the mountains, no matter what the forecast says, without a rain jacket. And here I've got my Glace Knock from Stony Creek. And obviously it's waterproof, but it's still a little bit breathable. So it still continues to allow that, you know, moisture transfer out of your body. But if it's raining outside, it's gonna keep you dry. The other great thing I like about rain jackets, and even when it's not raining, is that they are windproof. So if it's a really cold, windy day, this becomes another insulating layer. Even if it's not raining, it's gonna keep that wind from getting into my body and further cooling me off. So as you can see, there's a lot of layers required, but you know, it doesn't matter if we're hunting in Romania or here in North America, having good quality gear Lots of layers made from the right fabrics is critical.